guns. Problem with the powder flask is even though you've got a measured charge and you can drop that in, you fire the musket, you go to reload, if there's still a spark down there, your powder flask is now a hand grenade and you're the victim. <laughs> so they went to paper cartridges. Wrap a paper cartridge, fill it with a charge of powder. The bullet would be at one end. You'd open the other end. Typically you're supposed to do this with your mouth. I ate a bunch of this yesterday, I hate this stuff. Uh, open the paper tube, dump the powder down in there. Instead, the ball's at the other end. You would fish that out and drop it down the barrel. They did not use the paper for wadding or any other purpose. You didn't need it. That would be discarded. You then take the ramrod, pat that down into place. Rifled gun, they're using a new bullet, has an expanding base at the back, goes down easy. When the charge sets it off, it expands, grab the rifling. Very accurate, up to very long ranges. Now, you put the rifle at half cock, that's the position we're in now, that's the safety. So that you can cap it and prime it. That's where the term going off at half cocked comes from. <laughs> if that didn't work and you've done this and you go to do something with it, and it goes off when you don't want it to. Now, anytime I shoot a firearm out here, I'm gonna call out fire in the hole before I shoot. That might be a whole string of shots coming after that, or in this case, one shot. You saw how long it took to load this? Full cock, fire in the hole. Then you have to repeat the whole process to get the next shot off. Up until about 10 or 12 shots when the barrel starts to get too fouled, and you've either got to wash it out with something or run. You're not going to be able to shoot any faster than that. Now we get into the post-Civil War period.